everybody and welcome back. In a few weeks on September 22nd, my favorite day of the year, Tesla plans to hold its Battery Investor Day which will be streamed online. Battery Day is going to blow your mind and make your thoughts, thoughts disappear. Tesla has given us few clues on what to expect and if you're an investor, fanboy or a curious absorber, it's worth paying attention. In this video, we're gonna go over two little things that we will see on Battery and Powertrain Investor Day based on different hints from Tesla. Instead of showing one technology, Tesla is going to unveil multiple battery technologies. Also real quick, I would really appreciate an early thumbs up as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and these videos do take a really long time to make. Thank you and let's dive right in. 1. Maxwell Dry Electro Technology Maxwell Technologies was acquired primarily for this dry electrode manufacturing technology. Tesla's current lithium-ion battery which has put the highest energy density on the market while simultaneously having the lowest cost per kilowatt hour uses this slurry weight coating technology. What Maxwell Dry Electro Technology does is it gets rid of this additive and toxic solvent used in today's battery. It also gets rid of this drying phase and calendaring process needed to make batteries. So by removing all of these extra steps, an extraordinary amount of factory space, capital expenditure, time and therefore money can be saved by implementing Maxwell Dry Electrode technology. With Tesla's current battery production capacity, they can make well over 500,000 cars a year. So Tesla's new battery will be way faster to produce because of this dry coating process. Maxwell claims it to be 16 times increased in production capacity, but it's better to underestimate than overestimate this figure. So let's say Tesla achieves 6 to 10 times increase in battery production. With this, they will be able to make enough battery for 3 to 5 million cars every year. Let that sink in. This is game changing and will have major impact on Tesla's bottom line. 2. Terawatt Factory Tesla has 4 Giga Factories, with some in construction and other rapidly expanding. The term Giga Factory was invented by Elon Musk that refers to battery plant with production output so large that it goes into the unit of gigawatt hour. Tesla's first Giga Factory in Reno, Nevada has a production capacity of 35 gigawatt hours and is the highest volume battery plant in the world. In hindsight, this may seem like a large amount. However, in Tesla's Q1 conference call, Elon Musk has hinted at upcoming Terra Factory. A terawatt hour is a unit which translates to 1000 gigawatt hours, in amount that is over 28 times larger than Tesla's current Gigafactory 1. Imagine having the capacity of 28 gigafactories at once all combined into one building. That's a data factory. So Tesla is currently running its pilot production line with this faster production capacity in Fremont facility. Terawatt factory is possible because Tesla can make way more batteries with this new dry electrode process mentioned before. If you're interested to know more about this dry electrode technology, then you can watch this video. 3. Tabless Cell Elon Musk has openly stated that Tesla's recent battery breakthrough with the tabless electrode is way more important than it sounds. So in order to simplify how it works, here's a quick summary. Lithium-ion batteries have two tabs, which are attached to the sides of the battery, in order to help with the connection of the battery to outside sources. However, the problem with these tabs is they have ohmic resistance, which basically means that when energy is transferred through these tabs, some of that energy is wasted in order to move the energy. Also, the cost of manufacturing these tabs is expensive and requires skilled manpower. By using a special coating strategy, Tesla was able to remove one of the tabs and in some cases remove both of the tabs in its batteries. So Tesla's new battery gets rid of these tabs and as a result remove all of the issues. One of the most impactful benefits of Tesla's tabless electrode is way faster charging and discharging rates. Overall, it will allow for faster charging and discharging rates along with lower cost and faster 0 to 60 acceleration. 4. Cell to Pack Technology One of the major breakthroughs that Tesla is going to announce at Battery Day for their future battery packs is basically a Cell to Pack Technology. Today's EV batteries are composed of a number of individual modules combined together to form the full battery pack. As these packs have developed over the years, the number of modules has decreased. To put it in perspective, the Model S had a battery pack with 16 individual modules of battery cells, while the Model 3 reduces this number to 4 long modules, and in an episode of Thought Road Tesla Podcast, Elon Musk shared that the company is moving away from the concept of battery modules in the future pack design. Elon said, the original reason why the roster pack had like 16 modules was if one of them didn't work, you could pull it out and put another one in. The design choice allowed them to swap out a failed battery module to replace it with a new one in the event of a problem, but they are all still inside the battery pack so that's not the case here. Therefore, the move to sell to pack design seems a very rational and logical next step in the production of large scale battery packs. The final design should be shown at Tesla's battery day event later this month. 
So hopefully we'll get to see how these packs actually turn out and of course there is decrease in cost, complexity, space and weight this new approach will have. The seal to pack technology also reduces hardware and manufacturing complexity. 5. Million Mile Battery As mentioned before, we will see different batteries with million mile capacity revealed in battery in yesterday. So how is this million mile gonna be achieved? So looking at the document released by Tesla Canada and NSERC, you can see that these are charge cycles. You see the green line here, it means that the battery can go over 4000 cycles at 40 degrees celsius without much battery degradation. It is possible because the cathode that discharges electricity from our battery will not crack for longer period of time. It means after 4000 cycles, that is 20 years of operation in robot axis, your battery will have capacity of above 90%. I believe during battery investor day, they will release the information on how they will make this commercial. 6. Robot Axis the average American drives almost 14,000 miles a year. A million mile battery and powertrain would last over 72 years with this type of use. In other words, this is total overkill. But robot taxis could easily do 50,000 miles or more per year, meaning a million mile battery and powertrain would last 20 years. If Tesla didn't think that they could solve full self-driving, there would be zero point in developing a million mile battery and powertrain. It's just too much. But here's the thing, a robot taxis will happen. Tesla has a huge lead and the forcing function of needing an extremely long lasting battery and powertrain is pushing Tesla's technology lead so far that I don't see anyone catching up to them. When Tesla announces they have a million mile battery and powertrain too, it will rattle the automotive industry who are already years behind of Tesla. 7. Tesla's Full Self-Driving Dozo Robot taxis are made possible because of Tesla's full self-driving option. Project Dozo is Tesla's attempt to create a computer that can engage videos of driving to become more proficient at this driving skill. Dozo is made in order to train host of multiple AI that will enable Tesla's electric car to drive on their own. According to Musk, the goal is to take huge amount of image and video data and perform unsupervised learning. Musk said, Dozo will be available in limited public release in 6 to 10 weeks. It means that we will see fully autonomous vehicles in only limited places, and Project Dozo will likely be unveiled during next year's Road to Autonomy Tesla event where Tesla will make all of their vehicles autonomous, and this would be revolutionary. 8. Roadrunner Project the first generation of Project Roadrunner battery cells will only be available in extreme high price luxury Tesla like Tesla Roadster, a plate version of Model X and Model S, and then of course the Cybertruck and Semi. I think Tesla's Roadrunner battery will likely be the combination of all the battery technologies that we have mentioned so far. Imagine using Maxwell's dry electro technology with tablet cell and cell to pack technology with an advanced electrolyte and increased silicon in the anode. It will be the mother of all the batteries ever existed in the entire universe. All of this next level technology combining together reminds me of all the Avengers assembling together to defeat the evil. Like all of these battery technologies combining together to end the era of big oil. All of these technologies individually can decrease the cost per kilowatt hour, increase energy density, improve all the aspects of battery. If not exactly this then I believe Tesla will unveil a similar version of the next generation battery in Battery Investor Day. 9. Cost per kilowatt hour Goodbye internal combustion engine According to Sandry Monroe, the Model Y has the battery pack of $110 per kilowatt hour. As mentioned before, the cost per kilowatt hour can be removed just by implementing one of these technologies mentioned above, if not all. Below $100 per kilowatt hour is the price point where battery's price will be low enough that you can buy an electric car for a lower cost than internal combustion engine vehicle. Therefore, battery day is an inflection point in human history where electric cars will be more affordable than ICE cars. But Tesla won't be making low cost vehicle with these new technologies in order to avoid the Osborne effect. Also, they haven't reached the economics of scale to make millions of $20 car and make huge profits from them. 10. Mining Company with the Maxwell Dry Electro technology and hyper manufacturing process along with cell to pack technology, Tesla can pump out advanced batteries made in Tesla at incredible rates. Therefore, Tesla is limited only by raw materials. Let's watch this clip. Any mining companies out there, please mine more nickel. Go for efficient, you know, us environmentally friendly nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a con giant contract for a long period of time. Also, Musk mentioned that they could vertically integrate mining process by starting their own mining company. Let's take a look. Um, and, and then, as we, as we scale battery production to very high levels, we actually have to look further down the supply chain. Um, and um, we, we, we might get into the mining business, I don't know. Maybe uh, yeah, a little bit at least. 
All the evidence point only in one direction, that Tesla will get their hands on as many batteries as they can with Panasonic, Caltech, Algechem and later start their own mining company and I believe we will see some kind of update about this on Battery Investor Day. 11. Full Recyclable Technology If Tesla is making billions of sales, then it is logical for them to make it recyclable. The recyclable million mile battery can be used in power plants and power packs. So I believe we will see some insight on how Tesla plans to recycle these batteries at Battery Investor Day. Last but not the least, Energy Density Tesla Model Y has the energy density of $110 in a pack level. As mentioned before, 20% increase in energy density at a pack level can be achieved by implementing any one of the technologies mentioned above. Therefore, all the models should get at least 300 Watt Hour per kilogram and higher end Tesla should get more energy dense batteries. And we haven't talked about auto beater update, solar roof update, Tesla energy products update in this video. To summarize everything, we will see Tesla's own battery production line using Maxwell Tech, Tesla's plans to upgrade to Terra Factory, tablet sales and sell to pack technology, Tesla's million mile battery and their update on robot taxis, followed by the announcement of fully autonomous Teslas in some regions and the reveal of Roadrunner project and Tesla's plan on mining and recycling technology, which sums up the entire video. I wouldn't be surprised if this video ends up being the summary for Tesla's battery and powertrain investor day. Well that was it for today's video, let me know what are your thoughts on comment section down below. If you are still watching then you are awesome. Have a nice day and I'll see you again in the next one, peace.